Hello, friends. My name is Eric Cloward, and welcome to the Stoic Coffee Break. The Stoic Coffee Break is a weekly podcast where I take an aspect of Stoicism and break it down to its most important points. I talk about how we can apply it in our daily lives. I share my successes and my failures, and hope that you can learn something from my experience, all within the space of a coffee break. This week's episode is called Give Yourself Fully to Your Endeavors. Marcus Aurelius said, Forget everything else. Keep hold of this alone and remember it. Each of us lives only now, this brief instant. David Goggins said, Don't let fear, low self-esteem, and negative voices hold you back from your true destiny. One of the hardest things for me, and I'm sure that many of you fall into the same category, is to know what you want and to have the courage to go after it. There are plenty of reasons why this happens, and for the most part, it comes down to fear. And the two biggest fears are the fear of failure and the fear of the disapproval of others. And today I want to talk about some changes I'm making in my life and how I'm facing these fears. First, I want to let you know that I'm putting the podcast on indefinite hiatus. While the podcast has been one of the greatest things that I've ever created, It's also helped me realize that I need to stop procrastinating on pursuing the things that I really want to do. I need to face those fears and take those risks and use my time in a way that makes me the happiest. Sometimes the worst thing is to have something that is moderately successful, but ultimately doesn't take you where you want to go. It becomes an excuse to hide behind. And while the podcast has been successful with over 4 million downloads and 3 million of those downloads coming in just this year, It is also something that takes up a lot of time and focuses my energy away from the things that I really want to do. It has become an excuse to avoid going for what I really want and avoiding the possibility of failure. Alan Watts said, The meaning of life is to just be alive. It is so plain and so obvious and so simple. And yet everybody rushes around in a great panic as if it were necessary to achieve something beyond themselves. The careers I wanted to go into when I was younger were theater and film or TV and video games or or even music. I loved acting and singing and making music and thought that if I could just make a living doing any of those, I'd have my dream job. So how did I end up as a software developer? Well, basically it was because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to make it in the arts. I started out with good intentions, and at one point I had a fantastic job that I look at now and recognize it was probably my most favorite job. I had a part-time job at a financial firm making videos and graphics and recording audio and even making music videos for a rap artist that the owner was supporting. I loved that job. But it was only part-time, and rather than figure out how I could make it in that arena, I got a job in tech and learned how to program. I was afraid so I took the easy path. Now, don't get me wrong. I've had a really good career as a software developer. It pays well, and I've been able to support my family and myself very well. I'm not complaining by any means. But often, when we're successful at something, we're afraid to step into a different path because we're afraid of failure. We get so used to being successful that failing at something, even though we expect it because we're just getting started out, is often too much to bear. This is what has kept me from stepping up and pursuing the things that I really want, because I know I won't be nearly as good in other areas as I am in programming, at least not for quite some time. This happened to me a few years ago when I decided to learn to play cello. I'm a pretty decent pianist and singer, and in my mind, I thought that I should be able to pick up the cello pretty easily. When I found that it was far more challenging than I'd thought, and I wasn't making the progress that I thought I should, I gave it up. That failing at the time was just too much for me. I'd become so used to being good in other areas of music that when I failed to live up to my expectations, I couldn't handle it. And because our minds don't like failure, rather than changing my expectations and putting in the work to become good, I just decided that it wasn't for me. So with all that said, I've learned a lot of lessons from working on this podcast. I've learned a lot about myself and how to apply stoicism in my life. I've learned that consistency is the key to any success. That putting out work, even if it's not great, is how you learn and get better. And then your work will be great. And even then, you'll still put out stuff that's not as good as you want, but you put it out anyway. 
Like I've said before, consistency is the killer of fear. I've learned how to put together a good show with good content. I've become a better writer. I've learned how to communicate difficult ideas and express them in a way that others can understand. I've learned how to dig a little deeper into things and have found that oftentimes the better and more useful answer is counterintuitive and non-obvious. I've learned how to speak better and to use my voice to effectively convey my message. I feel more comfortable in being in front of the mic than I ever thought I would. And I've learned how to record and master and put out episodes that wound up being pretty close to professional level. Creating this podcast has certainly been a good thing in my life, and I'm grateful for all the lessons I've learned and all the support I've received from you along the way. But even with all those good things that have come from this journey, we always need to be reevaluating what we're doing with our lives and make sure that we're on a path that we want to be on. We need to have the courage to step up and take risks for the things that bring us closer to our true goals. We also need to have the courage to let go of the things that no longer serve us. The Twitter user, The Ancient Sage, said, You can accomplish anything if you can, one, prioritize ruthlessly, two, control your attention. Both of these have become particularly hard in the present age. As such, those who can control these two critical factors will rule the world. So what's next for me? For the past few years, I've been dabbling in VR and AR and 3D design. I find it exciting and a little scary because it's not my area of expertise in the world of programming. But the more I dig into it, the more I see the possibilities for using this medium to create films and games and musical experiences. I'm an artist at heart and I love creating and exploring and finding ways to bring the things I dream up into existence. I know there's a lot to learn and I've been working up the courage and resolve to pursue this dream. But to pursue this dream, I need to focus my time and energy on learning the tools of the trade and adding skills to my toolkit. In order to do this, I need to bring my focus, discipline, and dedication to this new venture and let go of other distractions, or I'll burn myself out trying to do too much. If I don't walk this path, I'll feel the same frustration that I felt for much of my life, of knowing what I want, but not having the courage to step up and do what needs to be done. Epictetus said, give yourself fully to your endeavors. Decide to construct your character through excellent actions and determine to pay the price of a worthy goal. The trials you encounter will introduce you to your strengths. So where does this leave the podcast? I plan on leaving the podcast online with my podcast house. I put a lot of time and energy into this and I want to leave this out there as others may find this useful and helpful in understanding and applying stoicism in their lives. It's possible that I might create a book or an audio course at some point in the future, but for now, I need to focus my energy, time, and talents on becoming what I've titled an immersive experience creator. If you enjoy this podcast and find value in it, I would really appreciate it if you would make a donation on Patreon. I've put thousands of hours of work into this podcast, so just as you would pay for an audio book, donating on Patreon would be helpful in offsetting hosting fees and help fund my new adventures. You can find the page at patreon.com slash stoic coffee. Learning to let go of things that distract us from our path, especially things that are good, is really challenging. This is not a decision that I've come to lightly. It's been filled with all kinds of second guessing and trying to find ways to keep it going while I work on my other pursuits. But in the end, I realized that if I want to be successful in pursuing my dreams, I have to give them my full attention. It's been a wonderful trip to share my thoughts and experiences with you, and I'm so grateful for all your support and your And I hope that when the time comes for you to have to make a hard choice of letting go of something good to go for something better, that you will have the courage to do so. And that's the end of this week's Stoic Coffee Break. Be good to yourself, be good to others, and thanks for listening.